Today's Gospel, Sunday, November 12, is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 25, verses 1 to 13. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom! Come out to meet him! Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Father Soy Hernando Replenishing Our Spiritual Reserves In order to understand and appreciate the parable of the wise and the foolish virgins in Matthew chapter 25, it is essential to explore the cultural context of marriage practices in Jesus' time and discern the deeper spiritual truths conveyed within it. From this reflection, we can draw three main lessons. Number one, the importance of preparedness. The central theme of the parable of the wise and the foolish virgins is the critical importance of preparedness for the coming of the bridegroom. In the Jewish culture of the time, weddings were significant events celebrated with great festivities. The bridegroom would often come to the bride's house to take her to his own, where the marriage celebration would occur. The virgins or bridesmaids had the crucial role of lighting the way of the procession with their torches. The wise virgins represent those who were prepared for the bridegroom's arrival, carrying extra oil for their lamps. In contrast, the foolish virgins lacked foresight and were ill-prepared, carrying no additional oil. When the bridegroom's arrival was delayed, they found themselves in a state of darkness and panic. This illustrates the importance of spiritual vigilance and readiness for the return of Christ. As Christians, we are called to be spiritually prepared, living in a state of readiness for the Lord's coming, which may occur at an unexpected time. Number 2. The Nature of Spiritual Readiness The parable emphasizes the need for a consistent and enduring readiness, as symbolized by the extra oil. This oil represents faith, spiritual strength, and a deep relationship with God. The foolish virgin's failure to carry extra oil illustrates that surface-level faith or mere outward appearance are insufficient. True readiness involves a vibrant and sustained connection with God, nurtured through prayer, study of scripture, acts of love and kindness, and a life of righteousness. We must cultivate a genuine and enduring relationship with Christ, continually replenishing our spiritual reserves so that we are well prepared to meet Him when He comes. This lesson reminds us that faith is not a one-time event but a lifelong commitment to growth and spiritual nourishment. Number 3. The Irreversible Nature of the Final Judgment The parable's conclusion where the foolish virgins are denied entry to the wedding feast 
serves as a stark reminder of the finality of the judgment. When the foolish virgins sought entrance, they were met with the heartbreaking response, I do not know you. This underscores the irreversible nature of the final judgment. Jesus underscores the fact that there were, will come a time when it is too late for repentance and readiness. It highlights the urgency of embracing faith and preparedness in the present. For no one knows the day or hour when the Son of Man will return. In conclusion, the parable of the wise and the foolish virgins conveys timeless lessons about the significance of spiritual preparedness, the nature of authentic readiness, and the irreversible nature of the final judgment. By understanding the court by understanding the cultural context of the time and the symbolism within the parable, we gain deeper insights into these vital lessons and are encouraged to live our lives in constant anticipation of Christ's return. Let us pray. Lord, fill my spiritual torch with the oil of faith, hope, and charity. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our takeout for the week. Faith is not a one-time event, but a lifelong commitment to growth and spiritual nourishment.